Hey folks, wait, where are you? Oh, hold on. There, hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley and just finished off a couple crazy episodes of logging and thought I'd bring over the stump grinder here to, uh, let's see. There you are. No, nope, gotta have the engine running first. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Let's clean this area up. We uh, did our logging in. Grind the stumps. And then somewhere up over there is the the sapling planter, the tree planter. We'll see how that works out here, if it does. Let's jump in cab and lift him up and see what can be done. With uh, looking out this view here, not be able to tip my head around the side and look and see where that grinder actually is. So this may or may not work well. Um, though uh, I will say that I'm driving forward right now and it's driving backward. So it does reverse all the controls for me when I'm facing the back direction. That is nice. Now, I gotta see where that stump was. There it is. So if I hit into about like so, yeah, I just can't tell if I'm on it or not. Darn. So I'm gonna have to do it back here. And V turns it on. V drops it. Um, never mind. He's already done. I see. So I need V up. Alright, I need that like that. Now, let's go grab this one. Looks like we're going to be done with this pretty quickly. Right there. Done. Um, this way. I'm going to try and cap one more time. I'd really like to be able to do this. There was one back there. Oh, I see. I can't see the top from here. It's like that. So maybe we'll just, you know, grind by braille. What do you think? Is that going to work? It's not. Wait, it's over there. Now forward a little. Now, there's no sense of it even making contact. I can't see it. Which means I need to swing my world around so that all my controls are the direction I need them to be. Okay. So, GB, I'll try this again. Now I can back up and it's actually going to back up. Right there. Raining down on that one. There we go. Got it? Got it. Alright, I know we got a little deeper into here with at least one of them. Is that something I can still get to, or is that, uh, is that crazy talk? Let's see here. Back up. Yeah, there's a yellowish disc over there. Two of them. Okay. Slow it down. Right there. Uh, right there. Grind back and forth and take that down to the dirt. Now, getting back into this area. That was fun using the Scorpion King. We'll say that. A little frustrating trying to get it all to work and aiming it and all that. Um, you're not too happy, are you? You're not too happy. <laughs> I think what it's saying is that's just uh, too far in the air. Let's do that. Hop out. Try it that way. Crouch. Right there. So I guess it's not a tree grinder, it is a stump grinder. Oh, he didn't let go. That's what I meant to do. It slid really well. 
Alright, try this again. Down. Back up. And he's still not willing to find it. Ah, he found it. Okay. Alright, that's good. Alright, that's all down in here, right? Yep. Let's get up and grab this one over here. Two of them. Three of them? Yep, three of them over here. Four of them. We went a little crazy back here, didn't we? Right there. guys think about what we want to do next? Do we want to get back into a logging map? Or do we want to get back into a farming map? It's kind of a... Uh, or do we want to just stay here until the uh, the Platinum Edition comes out in November? I mean, that's a possibility too. We'll find more things to do in Goldcrest Valley. But uh, leave me some ideas in the comments. to this side. This is the log that was tossed out in the field after the uh, great logging accident. So I brought him back up here and let him just rot naturally. At least one more down here somewhere. What is that? That is not one. Okay. Oh, come on, I pulled several out of here. Where are they at? Did I not? Right, there's one over here. And I see one right there. No. Huh. Okay, looks like one left. Hmm. Getting to that, though. A little interesting. Hmm. Well, let's try diving into this little gap right here. Yeah, I don't think my angle is going to do it. I'm going to be able to stop in time. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get down there. Not from there, at least. Well, maybe. I don't have a true brake. I have me push the button to the pedal until it starts to reverse. I can't actually make it stop. Okay, that's working. Right in there. So how much do you take off? Got up just a sliver last time. I think I need to go a little deeper. Or are we just going to sit here and actually not accomplish anything? It's a good show. Hmm. Okay, let's go around another way. off less than a foot. There it is. At a time. Okay. B. Turn you off. Swing you back to center. There we go. Anything left? 
Oh, we'll go pick up the uh, the planter. Oh, one other thing I wanted to do. Let's get time rolling at five times speed again. I meant to do that right when I started. I wanted it delayed to make sure we had lots of good light to record all the logging. Not, not necessarily trying to keep time realistic, but just to make the videos come out better. And that has been accomplished. Next thing to accomplish is getting uh, crops ready to, uh, let's see here, V and Q. There we go. Crops ready to harvest so we can uh, get the last of these fields done. Now, I could not get the poplars out of this guy. Uh, what I did, I went over and bought the, uh, the tree seedlings and couldn't swap them or anything, so I ended up leasing another one of these just to uh, just get the episode recorded. There doesn't seem to be a way to eject trees out of this device. I guess there's no way to get seeds out of a out of a sower either, although those seeds can be used for anything. They, they just, you just pick the one you want. You don't get that option with trees. And I did notice that there is a Y, allow create fields. So I'm thinking that's how you can plant these anywhere you wish to. That's the guess. So if I were to, let's see here, that one and pop out, where do we want to put one? We took them all from out over there. We didn't actually take anything from here, but let's put one right up in the top here, if that can be done. Where am I? Right up in here. Yeah, that's an if. Um, actually, if I were to head up in here, I might be able to do it. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's still an if. Okay. Um, v? Yeah. Now, if I were to turn you on, which is B, yeah, and then hit Y. Does that do? It does, right there. Now, V and B. Okay, so we popped a tree into there. Don't know that we're going to see any growth before the series is over. We might. Let's see, let's go back into there. And I don't know what kind of trees these are. I'll put you right in this spot here. B, B. As I drive forward, it'll drop one. I've got 20 trees on this pallet. Um... Right here looks good. Didn't happen. Let's back up. And forward. There he is. Okay. So it's programmed to go every so many feet and keep them away from each other. And for some reason, it didn't start over its count. All right, here. Like that. Now it's calling it create field. Does this show? Well, I can't really zoom in that much. Now we're we're in here. I haven't been across the road yet. I wanted to see if it left little brown marks where we've done that, but I guess not. Okay. Uh, VB and drive. There's one. And if I kept going, what is this doing, though? No, it's not really changing the ground texture any. Okay, it's leaving the, the bushes and whatnot. There's another one. Okay, we could kind of just drive around with this. And we're going in 20, 30 feet apart. There's one. Okay. Maybe. 
Um, so that did those right there. Let's do the same thing from up here. Now we put one right there. So if we cut one somewhere in here, that one, and then head it up into this area right here. Right about there. There we go. So that does work. Good. Glad to see that. Um, we have another gap over here. Now, did we already send one in this area? Yeah, one is right there, but then we took off in that direction. Okay. So if we were to go like this and start right about here. running? It's not running. Okay, V. No, B? B. There we go. There's one. There's another. And we can do one more here. Alright, I got nine trees left. Get out into here. Run this path for at least two, maybe three. We're starting right about here. There's one. So these you would plant if you wanted to harvest logs instead of the poplars, which are a little closer to... Where are you going to drop? Right there? Now I guess it'll have to do. A little bit closer to um, shrubs. You know, they're, they're, they're trees, but they're, they're, they're harvested as a pretty thin stalk. A pretty thin trunk. Uh, VB, at least in this game it is. Alright, so actually I'm going back over there. That's the wrong right. Okay, back in this direction. Here we go. Let's go in cab. Yeah, that feels better. Where am I? I can go about as far as that. BB and go. There's one. There. Let's see if we can get another one in before we hit the road here. Hopefully right about now. Come on. There it is. Okay. Alright. Three left. Where do these guys go? Could be right across this opening here. Uh, a little closer to the road. Right about there. Okay. Tree left. Okay, we'll be right up in here. See him right there in the, the uh, pallet. And he's done. Okay, so that worked. I wasn't sure if it would. Put him where? And yeah, back in this area. I'll put those away after the episode. Alright, so what else to do to kill some time here while we're waiting for what? Ooh. No. That looked like a harvest color, but that's the fruit type. Harvest is here, and we are ready to harvest. These two just popped. And that one did too. That one is removed top, so that is the sugar beets. This is wheat and corn, right? Canola. Ah, the yellow that we saw on the farm. And the corn. Okay. Well, where are we? 20 minutes into this? Yeah, we've got another half hour to play. Okay. Then let's 
Um, let's just drop this guy. I want to use this tractor. So we've cleaned up most of the damage to the, the forest we've done in there. Got what we needed out of it. A new batch of trees growing to take their place. 20 is probably close to the number we pulled out. Maybe not quite 20 trees, so we probably left more trees than we than we took. Yep, there's the canola over there. And this guy here is... Yep, all three fields are done. We could get three different harvesters going. Uh, meaning two harvesters and one topper. Yeah, let's see here. I want this guy to pull trailers. Is that what I want? I think so. Let's just take him down here and park him for a moment. Let's grab the, uh, all the Massey Ferguson. Oh, when that engine's not running, he will not hit the brakes. Because it's not brakes, it's reverse. Interesting. Anyway, um, probably a couple over like this. There we go, at least we're in that area. Oh no, hop out. Grab this one. Go. All right, let's go get the uh, the topper. Not gonna. Nah, we're not gonna get the big equipment this time. We've got it for the potatoes. And that's gonna happen soon. But it was in this area, right? The yeah, right in there. So I want the I want the guy in the back. At least I'm pretty sure that's what this equipment is. Is what I'm remembering. We'll find out. All right, there. Grab you. And that is definitely the sweet potato, no, the sugar beet harvester right there. So let's just go ahead and bring him out into this area. While I'm getting this set up, I could grab the, no, I can't. I was going to say grab the old case harvester, but he's kind of buried right there. I don't know if the big ones can make that turn over there, though. I'm really kind of questioning. In fact, I'm questioning even this. Gotta get this guy out of this little field. Like so. Um, let's just hop out. Let's go do something over here. I don't know if this big guy can make that turn. Against the uh, the place bowl over there where the uh, where all the trailers are parked. Let's just move him out. In fact, we could use him... No, he's not going to get used for the corn either. He's just in the way. He's not probably not going to get used until we uh, harvest field number five. This guy is the corn field, and this guy is the canola. Alright. Get this happening while we're moving other things around and getting it all working. Alright, X... Nope, other X. And... Right there, higher. Yep, you're happy. How do you? Back over to the Massey Ferguson, drop off this harvester, and grab the topper. Then we'll get that one going. Then we'll get the other harvester down there to the cornfield. Which I can't get to because this guy's in the way. Which is the one that has the plow built in to the cultivator to the... Let's see, what were you? Were you a sower as well? No, he's not attached. Okay. But anyway, I need to get him out of my way, whatever he was. Q? Yeah. And I barely made that turn because he's so heavy that my wheels are spinning, but they're not actually turning. There is a really good example of where you need the uh, the front weight to handle some of these things. Let's just tuck him off to the side here. Turn. There we go. 
and drop you off and let's grab this one right there hopefully you are what I think you are yeah pretty sure you're the uh, the sweet uh, sugar beet topper let's find out I'm gonna do this and it's either gonna start working or it's gonna say what all right so V there higher yep there he is okay hop out of you now what I guess corn harvesting. Now that's canola over, ouch, over there. So it's going to take quite a while to fill up that tank. Enough to drive over here and get this started. Then we'll grab the Voltra S series and, whoa, and get two, uh, two tippers on it. Now corn may produce a pretty decent quantity it just might meaning I don't think I can use the small tippers with that size of a field and with corn Jay is blocked by an object yeah even he couldn't navigate that uh, that placeable down there okay In which case I could have used the other one and just uh, babysat that corner and got it all into one tank Anyway, and we still have some uh, some hay down here to to plow, to uh, to bale. What do we want here? C, X, G, X, and no advantage to starting up at that end. So we'll do this. There and higher. I'm gonna watch the animations here. Corn is rolling in that auger into the center. The uh, corn cobs. And it's going through something in here which is grinding it up, shucking it, throwing the seed only right in there. All the husks being chipped up and thrown out the back as well as the stalks leaving just little stubs of stocks out over here. How it does that, I don't know. I mean, think about it, that uh, although the kernels at this point are pretty hard, you know, they're, they're not like uh, corn on the cob that you cook, which are soft. These are little pebbles. So, but they're not dried pebbles like you would think of as a, a bag of corn uh, feed. Don't know. I'm, I'm impressed. But let's, well, let's watch him make this turn. There, I don't think there's anything at the other end to worry about other than maybe a sign. And you're having a little trouble, aren't you? Okay, but you figured it out. Now what you gonna do? So how do I get back to him? Uh, that was my fault. Okay. Yep. yep, yep. All my fault. Alright. You can make your turns just fine. Okay. So tippers, I want the non-dolly tongue first. Fixed one, we'll call them. Right in there. Further, grab them and pull out and back in. Yeah, a little bit further. 
There we go, that's better. That's feeling pretty good. There he is. Got him. All right, who first? Really, none of them at this point, but this will be the first one. I think. Out of curiosity. He's been running for a while, though he's only canola, but let's get a sense of what quantity has already come out of this. And, of course, he's half the width, too, but uh, let's turn him off and tab through till we find these guys. You have got 2,000 so far, and probably four widths of you, which is... Find the yellow. I forgot about you. Yeah, you're up and running. Probably three, probably two widths of this one. He's already at 7,000. He's already half full. Okay. So, corn is first. That corn is this way, so let's just make a sharp turn. Now, these guys can hold 21. It's going to take both of these. In fact, that field's probably going to have even more than two of these. Hmm. Okay. Now, he was going that direction. I wonder if I can get there in time just to top him off. Yep, I can. Now, I want to use just the rear. I don't want to mix them. I don't want corn in both of them. So let's run up in here. I don't have a cruise control set. I can see that. I gotta get out a little further. Not a lot further. I miss him completely, aren't I? Can I get him right at the end? Okay, right there and stop. There you go. about nine. And I gotta pull forward so you can't accidentally contaminate the other trailer. That corn gives you a lot. Unlike canola or soy, this whole field would give you about a third of that. Which is why it costs about three times as much. Alright, I've got room for one more run like that of corn. Let's go up here and put uh, canola into the front trailer. Uh, where is he at? Good, he's going the right direction. Let's swing around. And yeah, let's get the cruise control set. I want to take you down to six. Right there. There, pull out and three. No, speed up and three. All right, now let's get it. Nope, didn't accept. Right there, three. Well, back far enough so you guys can hear me. Go ahead and dump him. He may have only 3,000 in there, if that. Yeah, a little more than I thought. Okay, he's done. So next one will be corn, but let's take a peek over at the uh, at this guy. In fact, I can get the uh, the other one going, but I have no way to dump him. Huh. I've got a little bit of time here. Let's park him there. And actually, let's just tab over a little bit faster. I want the warrior. Let's grab you and pick up this guy and start harvesting. And then we need one more tractor with the smaller tipper. Although, actually, this is where the big tipper is needed. And I don't even know where to dump this right now, to tell you the truth. Yeah, this may have to be next episode. We don't have a place set up right now to dump the, uh, the sweet potatoes, the sugar beets, the, the SBs. 
So, hmm. I guess I'm just going to leave him there. Let's back up till we get back to... Actually, what do you have in there? You have 400. Back to this guy. Alright, let's get back down to the corn. Which is through the barn, apparently. There you are. What's happening there? That was empty field before. Now somebody has replanted what? What does that look like? It's either wheat or barley. I'm not sure. I'm kind of thinking wheat. I think it's wheat. Alright, where are you? You're on your way back to us. So I can't do much until you get here. Alright, so let's spend a little time thinking. We own these guys. Let's go this route. Okay, you guys are done. Being done. These guys are being done. This is the potatoes. This was what? Oh, that's the poplars. Okay. So really it was potatoes, poplars, and corn. That was the most important. That's what we've done these last uh, you know, dozen episodes or so. Kind of gearing up toward the finale. Him being the last one, the, the wheat field. So these two are second stage of growth through tonight we'll hit third stage so sometime tomorrow we'll probably hit the final stage so that night is probably when it hits harvest so the following morning okay so we'll take out this one don't know well okay tomorrow then next episode we'll deal with harvesting this and finding somewhere to put the uh uh, the sugar beets. We could feed the pigs with some of it. We could take the rest and let's see, pull out of here. I got to come up, hit him pretty soon. But um, sugar beets are selling good. Where? Maybe we could just directly sell them. Sugar beets. What do you look like? You're this one. I think so. And there isn't a good place to sell it anywhere. No greens. Hmm. We sold these guys, especially these in the 17s, at the mill. And it's dropping because we sold so much. So really about, well, yeah, three times, I guess, is, is, is right. That was a good guess. Okay. Anyway, let's go dump him. Cruise control is set now. I would wonder if he can go a little faster than what the other ones, what the other one could deal. Three for set it. There it is. Let's see how that uh, lines out. Pretty good. Not pretty good. Gonna pull out. In and one. Slow him down. Now we should have enough to pretty much fill this trailer. We'll dump them off and come back. Alright, right about there. You gonna stop? Yeah. Oh, you're done. Continuing, I would already have uh, well, probably the the warrior with the cultivator out here getting ready to get this field ready for the next round. That was odd there. A little bit of a skip. Let's go dump him off. And we'll top off the, uh, the other harvester as well. He is selected. I will dump him. It's Green Door. 
Can I change that midstream? I kind of can. That's interesting. I think I switched him to the rear. No, I didn't. So I'll hit I and I again now. I'm hitting you. I'm pretty sure that's what switches things. Apparently not. Unload. Um. Ow. Oh. I still didn't see it. Toggle. I guess maybe it, there we go. I don't know why it took so long to do that. I was hitting you, and it wasn't switching. Let's hit it now for next time. Um, we'll go rear. Okay. Apparently once it starts, it's there for the long haul. Can I catch him before he gets to the end? Without slamming into him. Okay, you stop. Stop. There. that turn okay? Looks like you are. Okay. You did a good job there. And you're not far from being done. This other one's going to take a little more babysitting because the diagonal up there. To restart him a few times. Now, playing on my own, I'll take the time to harvest everything and do most of the jobs by myself. But for a video, it doesn't quite work. And when you're not playing multiplayer, so that someone else is running the tractor trailers while another is running the harvester while another is running the cultivator, then you know, I pretty much have to hire everything out for a single player. Or we take four episodes to do this field. I go back and forth and back and forth. All right, so you are going to roll in there and then quit. I don't think I can set him at a diagonal. I think the AI only does perpendicular lines there. I don't think, you know, 90 degrees. I don't think it can, I can get into a 22 like that. Huh. Well, we'll just wait and see what happens. He probably has enough tank to do the rest of this field. That's my guess. I'm going to park you right over here and go jump in and find out. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll do just a, a manual emptying since he's going to stop over here on his own anyway. And we'll, uh, we'll get the rest of this done. full back here. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a comfortable cab. Alright, finishing up in there. Will he get to the end? Yeah. Nope. Well, kind of. Yeah. Alright. And harvest is this one? No, or ran that thing over. That one. And V B. Why is that not turning on? Detach. Okay, I've got to G. Ah, it treats the. Uh, I have to be in the tractor to turn on the header harvesting. But from the header, I can't. That's really kind of weird. But that's the way it is. Just thought I'd catch these two over here while I swung back around and dumped them out. Okay. O brings out the tube that I can't see. Not even in my mirror. So there are some aspects of this game you really can't do in cab. 
Uh, not that one. Right there. See it draining out of the, the hopper here. aspect of the, the harvester here. We're done? We're done. Oh, and what is the next plan here? Um, well, let's just set them for another full path. Almost. Missed one. <laughs> but he's going to do a good job there. Okay, so how about you? Let's go finish off the, the canola. And we'll come back and... What time is it? I'll probably finish that off camera. Call that well enough done. last pass. I say he. Probably most of the helpers are, are, are she's, aren't they? The majority are. Not in time. Now I have to manually get out there and do that. Yeah, right about there. Um, this way? There we go. You're not going to reach, are you? <laughs> oh, you kind of. Well, actually, let's just go back like that. That'll do it. All right, you're done. And I think we're done. I'm going to call this done right here. It's been Noble Rambler, and thanks, guys, for watching. Next time we'll uh, we'll tackle sugar beets. See you later.